Well, say you're getting ready to light your fire and you remember you don't have any matches or a lighter. Then you just walk to your truck and you get your ferro rod. It's also good to keep a few cotton balls with your ferro rod because they catch fire very easy. Put my little cotton ball right there next to the dried pine needles. Awesome. Now how this thing works is once you scrape the paint off of this ferro, ferro rod, you take this little piece of metal and you just scrape it and it throws the spark onto your dried up wood or whatever you're trying to ignite. Comes in very handy. Now what does starting a fire with a ferro rod have to do with cigar box guitars? Nothing. I just thought it was cool. In my last video, I was working on four cigar box guitar necks. Those right there. And I said at the end of that video, when I get the necks done and installed in the guitars, that I would show you how they look. Well, today is that day. are all in a 25 inch scale length and this first one here is what I call the swamp caster dual pickups with a p90 and a humbucker three-way switch volume and tone shotgun shell volume knobs and a shotgun shell sound hole this one here is the Warhawk also has dual pickups This one does have the multi-wood fretboard. It's beautiful. And then this one here is the Cohiba Black Lightning. I do add those lightning effects to the top of the box. Top. This one also has a humbucker in the neck position. Also with the multi-wood fretboard. And the last one, this one is a lightning caster. Well, why don't you guys follow me into my really messy shop area and I'll let you hear what a few of them sound like. Hmm. Okay, before I get started, uh, excuse the lighting, excuse the mess, and excuse the squeaky chair. I'm going to play this one here first. I really like this configuration with the P90 and the humbucker. I'm going through my Line 6 Spider Classic 15 amp back here. I'm going to clean chat a little bit of reverb. And I have this guitar tuned to an open E. E, B, E. And the strings could be going out of tune at any time because they're new. I'm going to put the three-way switch all the way up this way, which is going to be just the P90 pickup.
Try the middle pickup. Humbucker. Lovely. Let's try this Warhawk, same pickup configuration, and we're going to start on the P90 as well. Try just the humbucker. Let's try this Cohiba Black Lightning. Now this is the only one out of the three that has the humbucker in the neck position. <laughs> try one of those other guitars with the with the humbucker in the bridge position for that tune. See what it sounds like. I'm curious. Oh, my God. 
After listening to that, did you like the humbucker in the bridge position, like on this one, or the humbucker in the neck position as it sounded on this one? I'd like to know what you think. Drop it down there in the comments. If you like these cigar box guitar videos made in messy shops with squeaky chairs, make sure you hit that subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up and do, I mean do, leave a comment. From the messy shop in the backwoods with the squeaky chair that I need to oil, my name's Michael, and I'll see you in the next one.